Hello, this is Greg from Microsoft Hates Greg. We have a YouTube channel that focuses on the external Power BI tool, Microsoft Hates Greg's Quick Measures. And we also cover quite a bit of DAX uh, as a result of that. Um, so as you can hopefully see on my screen here, I have uh, just released a new supported measures.json file about two hours ago. And if you go to the releases and you scroll down to gamma, and then on down to supported measures, you can see I updated it today to include 37 new measures. And I kind of started originally kind of going from the oldest quick measures in the quick measure gallery out on community.powerbi.com. Um, but I wanted to uh, kind of include like a whole kind of big group of something. And uh, the SVG or scalable vector graphic uh, quick measures that were in the gallery seemed like a good candidate. Uh, so I figured in support of the release of the new supported measures.json file that uh, we go ahead and cover scalable vector graphics. And uh, if you want to know how to update your supported measures.json file, just watch the last video in this series where I cover how to update. Uh, you just basically download the supported measures.json file, go find uh, that file in the resources directory of your Mushkukum installation and just replace the file. Um, if you want to make a backup copy, that's always a good idea. Um, but anyway, so let's uh, go and get into SVG uh, quick measures. So in support of that, I have my testing platform, Microsoft Hates Greg Power BI file. And you can see that I've created a simple table visualization here with one column that kind of has like a category and then one another one that has some values. So well, the first thing to realize about SVG graphics uh, I just repeated graphics twice there, didn't I? SVG measures is that they are, uh, they really only kind of work in table visualizations uh, where you can display images because essentially the way that an SVG measure uh, is treated is as an, an image URL. Uh, just happens to be the, the markup for that image and that describes that image. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We will, uh, and I have a launch, so launch, go ahead and launch Microsoft Hates Greg. And I have the latest file. And as you can see, I've added quite a few date intelligence uh, measures, first working day of month, uh, first and last working day of week, that sort of thing. Um, added some other ones, but let's go down. And now, if you'll notice, uh, SVG is its own category um, because I've got so many of these SVG graphics. It didn't make sense to uh, put them in text anymore or other or anything like that. So, so what we can do is uh, we'll pick one here, the blinking dot. I know that blinking is the most hated feature of all of uh, the old Netscape, the uh, the old blink tag, but too bad. Um, this was kind of based around Stephen Few's red dot, uh, another measure that's actually included um, in this release of supported measures.json. Uh, and what we can do here is we'll go ahead and pick, uh, see if we need column two from table four. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And we say fill color red, black, line thickness, radius, opacity we can set those if we want to or leave them the defaults we generate our dax and just so we get something interesting going on here within the table we'll say that uh, if the aggregation kind of our flag essentially is less than two then we'll go ahead and show our shape and otherwise we will show nothing it should be created in table four let's go ahead and click create if i could talk says it's been successfully created. We saw, we saw a pop up over here if you're paying attention. And maybe we'll also do a heartbeat. Uh, where do I have beating heart? SVG beating heart. We'll go ahead and pick that same column. And let's generate. And again, we will see, looks like this one is the reverse. So we'll say if it is greater than one, then we will display nothing. And otherwise we will show our graphic. Or oh, man, maybe you should do it in the reverse. It's a uh, greater than one. Show nothing if 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 less than two. That way we get kind of an opposite in theory. Go ahead and create that. It says it's been created. It popped up over here, and we'll just minimize this now. If we add this to the instant beating heart, so let's add the blinking dot. If we add that, you'll notice this is what's actually returned by the measure so we have the data and we have the image this is basically the markup that describes the svg um 
animation or image that we want to show. So um, the important thing about this to know is that one thing that Mushkukum does not do, it does not set the data category for you. Um, that is, I did add that to the backlog for the next release, the Delta release. Um, so right now, if you create one of these measures, you will have to tag it as an image URL. Uh, in the future, I hope to alleviate that problem. And it decided not to update. That's interesting. Let's just take it away. Did I set it on the right one? No, it did not set it on the right one. I set it on the wrong one. Linking dot image URL. There we go. As you can see here in my gra graphic now that these these ones that are set to uh, one, they have a nice blinking dot next to them. Draw your attention. Um, I also created this part measure, which should appear in the opposite. And I totally messed that up. I actually select this. And there we go. So the ones that it didn't display in, that is setting on the total. You can you can get around that by probably by adding something like a has one value, let's say. So if we come down to here, if uh, if the sum is greater than two, so we could add a if has one value. Uh, let's say it's going to be table four, column one. Then we do the if, otherwise it won't display anything. And that should get rid of it in the total line. Easy enough. So we have a nice beating heart. We have our little blinking. Uh, a couple of things. I think there's one I really one other thing to cover um, in that you uh, there is a setting called image height um, that you will want to set. Um, so if I like if I shrink this way down to like 24. You can see that the everything scaled down. It actually is cutting a little bit of this off. This one's scaling. This one's scaling better um, than this one, obviously. So, but this will control your ultimately control your row height, kind of, um, and display how much uh, image area you have for your different images. So there you have it. That is SVG, kind of in a nutshell. Um, again, if you like these uh, these videos, like and subscribe and all that fun jazz. And I uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas and, and looking forward to a, a new year.